Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Hello, hello. Good you, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome oh. to the class. So, Tony, today you are not driving. Yes. I, <laughs> I mean, and Henry, Henry is not driving either. Ah, very good. I, I'm not driving, but I, I am hungry. <laughs> okay, you can eat. No worries. <laughs> Enjoy. So, no traffic today? Um, a little bit. Okay. It's almost two hours from San Martin from my house. Oh my gosh, two hours. That's a lot. <laughs> but this, uh, now is normally. Ah. Um, a few months ago it was one hour, but now um, the um, the constructions of the bridges and how do you say Paso de Nivel? Uh, the highways, the new highways for El Salvador um, is making the, the traffic horrible. Okay. Really, really horrible, horrible in in the way from uh, the Golden Street or the yeah, this isn't the name uh, La Carretera de Oro. Golden yeah, Street. no worries I, that proper names doesn't change. Uh, I don't understand uh, that they crasher the the old street. <laughs> they they don't fix the oldest one they destroy the good ones and then they want to rebuild the good ones <laughs> i think that sometimes for example the the overpass i don't consider that is so urgent or totally necessary right i think that is just luxury something that will look good but the consequences, I mean, the traffic, it's terrible. I totally understand. But, but here you are. isn't home too. Is not driving right hey, now. Hey, that's great. Hello, Atilio. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Excellent. Excellent. In my house. Look. In your house. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, I'm really yeah. happy. I'm happy, guys, that you could be at home early, right? So you are ready to take the class. Welcome, everybody, and thank you so much for being on time. Thank you so much for keep the camera on. Uh, I would like to see all of you. So, ah, very good. I can see Celia. Hello, Celia. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel? Sorry? Yes, okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay, everyone. So today we're going to have a lot of practice as always. So I hope all of you participate. Okay, please. Let's start today's class. I'm going to share the presentation. Give me one moment. I don't know why, but I feel like today is Wednesday and it's not, it's Tuesday, but I was like, today is Wednesday, it's Wednesday, but it's not, I don't know why, but look, can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Excellent. Um, so one day less of class. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on. Well, that's a good motivation, right? One day less. Remember, we are in the week number two. So everybody, uh, just remember attendance is very, very important. So remember what I told you the first day. You need to have minimum the 80 percent of attendance okay 80 percent but if you want to get the full attendance remember it's necessary that you connect the two hours 120 minutes um, sometimes some of you only connect 90 minutes 
or 100 minutes. So mm -mm, remember, you had to connect the two hours to get the account, I mean, to get the points for the attendance. At the contrary, unfortunately, if you don't have like the amount of attendance, you won't be able to continue with the program. Okay, so be careful with that. Okay, today is February 7th, all right? We are in the unit number two. Do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? Present. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Uh huh. We studied present. How to Simple use present. present present for schedule activities. Good job. Excellent. Exactly. So we studied how to use the simple present when we are talking about a scheduled activity. We checked some exercises in plural and also in third person, okay? We practiced these questions and I told you yesterday that today we will review these questions. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to interview some of you, okay? So, Let's see, let's see. Who am I going to ask? Uh, da, 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 I'm going to ask to Edwin. Hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. How are you? I, I tengo sueño. I, I... I'm sleepy. I am sleeping. sleeping. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, no this worries. Week, this week, it, I, I wake up at 5.50 a.m. Oh my goodness, really? Very Every early. <laughs> oh <Yes>. my gosh. <laughs> no worries. After the class, you will be able to sleep. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Um, let's see, Edwin, what do you do at work? Tell me at least three activities. Uh, I, I drink coffee. What time? <laughs> Very, uh, at uh, 8 a.m. Mm, uh, oh, oh, yes. Uh, Eh, <laughs> no sé si me preguntaba eh, cuántas yeah. veces al día. Ah, okay. No, what time? Ah, what time? Ah, okay. All right. What else? What else do you do at work? Eh, I send in emails. You send I emails? Send, I send me emails. Uh -huh, I send okay. emails. And I, I have a meeting with my boss. Eh, eh, Every Monday at uh, seven forty-five a.m. Okay, sounds good. Very good. Thank you, Edwin. Okay, everybody, do you remember? Imagine that I want to think. So I say, "Quiero ver." Mm, so how can I say that phrase in English? Uh huh. Do you remember? Let me see. Very good. Thank you, Ezequiel. Exactly. You can see. Mm, let me see. Or let's see. So please, I don't want to listen. Quiero ver again. Okay. Be careful. Okay. Uh, Edwin, pick someone. Uh, quiero ver. What? Quiero ver. <laughs> Let me see. Thank you. <laughs> eh, Carla Sofía. Thank you. Hello, Carla. Okay. Hello. How are you? Más o menos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so. Okay. Tell me, Carla, what do you do on your day off? Mm. Uh... Today. <laughs> uh, day off. When is your day off? Oh, um, in Sunday. Okay. So, what do you do on Sunday? 
Uh, the last Sunday I go to the beach. <laughs> okay. Then... But remember, in present, we are talking in simple present. So what do you do on your day off? For example, in my day off, uh -huh. I, I sleep <laughs> a lot. Uh, in my day off, uh, I have a laundry. <laughs> okay, you do laundry. Okay, what else? Laundry and, and sleep. <laughs> and maybe, and sometimes I watch series. Mm, okay, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, thank you, Carla. Carla, pick someone, please. Mm, Atilio. <laughs> Atilio, okay, thank you. Hello, Atilio, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, very, very good. Excellent, very nice. Okay, Atilio, tell me, what do you do on Mondays at 8 a.m. Uh huh. No. What do you do on Mondays um, at 8 a.m.? I check the relax of 4 p.m. Okay. What else? Uh, I read the weekend pie. I'm sorry? I check. I sleep the weekend pie. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I check report for Monday. Hmm. All right. Okay. Thank you, Atilio. Pick someone else, please. Uh huh. Atilio, pick someone. Um, Jorge, Jorge. Jorge. My part is Jorge. <laughs> okay, Jorge. Yeah. Hello, Jorge. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine. Thanks. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Tell me, what does your best friend do every day? Um, mm, really, I don't know, but <laughs> I think uh, he goes to work every morning and he take your, his, um, his son, he has a baby and he visits uh, his mother. Mm, okay, sounds good. Thank you, Jorge. Pick someone, please. Um, I don't know. Is is Juan Jose? Yeah, Juan Jose. Yes, Juan Jose is here. Yeah. Juan Jose, <laughs> Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Hello, Juan Jose. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Tell me, Juan, what do you do on Sundays from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m.? In Sundays, I go to church from 4 p.m. and after uh, we practice uh, music. So, so you played an instrument? Yes, I play instrument, bass and guitar. Oh, so in in the church you in play the church. yes wow that's great yes all right and what time do you usually go to sleep on sundays on sunday usually i go to sleep around 10 30 or 11. okay very good thank you juan excellent okay. job so you Thank see you. everybody, you are talking in English. Very good job. Okay, always practice.
practice the questions that I send you on WhatsApp because suddenly I can ask you, I can interview you, okay? Very good job. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. So when you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's see, Abigail Mejia. No, Abigail Mejia. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Present. Thank you. Atilio Ernesto. Okay, Atilio is here, but I think that we have issues with the connection. Okay. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Present. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Atilio. All right, let's see, uh, Carlos Alberto. Okay, Celia Cristina. Present. Okay, um, let's see, let's see, Henry Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Right, Jorge Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jorge Jonathan. Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. All right. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Right. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Karen Rocío. Present. Okay. Carla Sofía. Present. Right. <clears throat> Carol Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Orlando. Present. Right. Salvador Ernesto. Let's see. Sandra Abigail. Present. Okay. Stephanie Michel. Okay. Jan Siquelita. Present teacher. All right, Jose Marvin. And Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Very good, excellent. Okay, let's continue everybody. We will continue practicing a little bit the simple present, but we are going to include different vocabulary that can be very, very useful. Now, we already practiced some questions now. I wanted to practice a little bit listening, okay? I have here different people. They will describe their routines, their scheduled activities. So please pay attention. For example, the first one, the name is Peter. So Peter is going to tell us three activities about him. And you have to tell me which of these ones is true and which ones is false. Okay, so you can answer in your notebooks and then we are going to see if the answers are correct or not. I want you to imagine that this is an exam. So I want you to try to get perfect answers. Try to understand what the person is saying. Okay, so notebooks ready, please and pay a lot of attention. If you cannot listen to the audio, please let me know. Microphones off, here we go. One, Peter. Let's see, I get up at 5.15 every morning and go running. Then after I have a shower and a quick breakfast, I take the subway to work. I usually do some work on the subway. I get to work at 7 in the morning, and I usually work until 8 at night. After I get home, I have dinner. Then I read the newspaper before bed. I usually go to bed about 11 o'clock. 2. Amelia I'm pretty busy these days. I get up early, around 6.30, then have breakfast, usually cereal and a big cup of tea. Then I take the bus to school. While I'm on the bus, 
I usually text my friends. Let's see. I have classes from nine until three. After classes, I go home and study for a few hours. Then I have dinner with my family. After dinner, I play video games for an hour or so, then chat with my friends online. Finally, I take a shower, then go to bed, usually around 10 o'clock. 3. Charlie My routine? Well, I'm looking for a job at the moment, so I don't have much of a routine. Every day is a little different, but I usually get up around 11, then I go running. After that, I have a big lunch. I'm always hungry because I don't have breakfast. After lunch, I play video games for a couple of hours. Then I go online to look for jobs, but no luck yet. After that, I usually watch some TV, then have dinner. In the evening, I usually hang out with friends and play some more video games. I usually go to bed at one or two in the morning. Okay, that was the audio. I'm going to play the audio one more time so you can verify if your answers are correct or not. Okay, one more time. Pay attention. One, Peter. Let's see. I get up at 5.15 every morning and go running. Then, after I have a shower and a quick breakfast, I take the subway to work. I usually do some work on the subway. I get to work at 7 in the morning, and I usually work until 8 at night. After I get home, I have dinner. Then I read the newspaper before bed. I usually go to bed about 11 o'clock. 2. Amelia I'm pretty busy these days. I get up early, around 6.30, then have breakfast, usually cereal and a big cup of tea. Then I take the bus to school. While I'm on the bus, I usually text my friends. Let's see. I have classes from nine until three. After classes, I go home and study for a few hours. Then I have dinner with my family. After dinner, I play video games for an hour or so, then chat with my friends online. Finally, I take a shower, then go to bed, usually around 10 o'clock. Three. Charlie. My routine? Well, I'm looking for a job at the moment, so I don't have much of a routine. Every day is a little different, but I usually get up around 11, then I go running. After that, I have a big lunch. I'm always hungry because I don't have breakfast. After lunch, I play video games for a couple of hours. Then I go online to look for jobs, but no luck yet. After that, I usually watch some TV, then have dinner. In the evening, I usually hang out with friends and play some more video games. I usually go to bed at one or two in the morning. All right. So let's see if you pay attention. The conversation number one about Peter, the first sentence. Peter has big breakfast. Is that true or false? False. 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 Everybody, do you agree? False. Why? Yes, I agree. False. Why do you think that is false? Because Peter has a I... big breakfast. That's correct. So that's the correct answer. False. How about the number two? He gets to work at seven in the morning. True. 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 Very good. Very good. Okay, he reads the newspaper on the subway. False. False. False, are you sure? Yes. That's correct. Very good. He doesn't read the newspaper. He said that he makes some work, right? But not reading the paper. Okay, conversation two is about Amelia. Amelia drinks tea with her breakfast. True. This is true. True? 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 Yes. yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. While Amelia is on the bus, she texts her family. False. False. She texts Cor her friends. Correct. <laughs> and she plays video games for half an hour every day. 
Also. True. True. <laughs> um, okay, some of you no, say true, some of you say hour. false. It's, yeah. Ah, it's, false. it's false. Remember, she said that she plays video game for an hour or an so. Hour. So that means one hour more. or more. And here it says half an hour. That means 30 Only minutes. 30 minutes. Exactly, that's correct. Okay, let's move on to Charlie. Charlie has a job. False. False. False, definitely. False. Uh, Charlie, it's a big lunch. True. true. That's true. And he looks for jobs online. True. True? I, I'm not sure, but uh, yes, I, I think he, he searched true. True. <laughs> for jobs, but I think that this is not enthusiasm to <laughs> get a job. <laughs> he likes to, to only play video games and uh, wake up too too late and <laughs> and go to, to the bed, go to sleep at 1, 2 p.m. a.m. I don't know. How do you say huevón in English? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can say coach potato. Like coach, like the sillon, and potato, like the vegetable. Coach potato. So a coach uh, potato uh, is a person who likes to uh sit in front of the tv and watch tv all day and do nothing <laughs> so, yes this is charlie Coach potato Coach potato coach potato <laughs> yes so don't be a coach potato okay <laughs> okay so in the end charlie looks for jobs online what is your final answer It's yes, it's true. True. Very good. Excellent job, everyone. So imagine that this is your exam. Hmm, what would be your score? All of them are correct? Or 90%, 80%? I uh -huh. have one incorrect. Only one incorrect. Very good. That's good. Uh-huh, and the rest of you, everyone? So, listening is difficult or easy for you? What do you think? For me, it's difficult. Difficult? In, in this case, the, the first the moment, uh, I understand, but Charlie is very difficult to me okay that can be because remember that every person has like the accent okay and of course sometimes we will feel that the listening is easier than others so remember if you feel that listening is very difficult that's the skill that you need to practice more Okay, I'm going to try to include uh, listenings always here in the class so we can practice. I'm trying to cover all the areas, speaking, writing, listening, everything. Okay, so sometimes time is not enough. So you have to give your extra mile. Okay, so always in your free time, try to practice a little bit. Now, Let's start with today's topic. The topic is how to use adverbs of frequency. I know that this is a topic that maybe some of you already know. So let's see if you remember. Can you give me examples of adverbs of frequency? Uh-huh. Do you remember? Maybe usually. Okay, yes, that's one. Usually. usually. Sometimes. Sometimes, yes. What else? Often. Often, yes. Readily. Mm -hmm, very good. 
always? Yes, very good. So you see, you remember some frequency adverbs. Excellent. Very good. Okay, so we are going to see this topic, but we are going to combining with marketing strategies. Okay, so I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Volunteer for reading, please. My teacher. <clears throat> Thank you. Go ahead. Class objective. At the end of the class, participants will ask and tell information relate, related to marketing strategies using adverbs of frequency. Thank you. So the idea is to combine, okay, to use frequency adverbs with marketing strategies. So let's start with vocabulary related to the frequency adverbs. So if you find a new word or if there is a word that you don't understand, tell me so I will tell you. <laughs> so here we got different words. And these words represent frequency. For example, imagine if I say, hey everybody, how often do you take a shower? Some of you can say, teacher, I take a shower once a day. Eight. And what is the meaning of that? Once a day. Una vez al día. Exactly. Very good. Imagine if I say, hey, everybody, how often do you drink coffee? Ah, teacher, I drink coffee twice a day. What is the meaning of twice? One in the morning and one in the afternoon. Exactly. So very good. So <laughs> uh, how often do you eat? Ah, I eat three times a day. What is the meaning of three? Three times. Correct. So what happens if I want to say cinco veces al día? How can I say that? Five times a day. Correct. Very good. Very good. So, Look at the first column, everybody. The first column, these ones, these are frequency adverbs that when we use them, they always go at the end of the sentence. Okay? That is the position. They go at the end of the sentence. So, for example, you say, I go to the beach once a month, okay? We say it at the end of the sentence. If you say, um, once a month, I go to the beach, this sentence is not correct, okay? This one mm -mm, is not correct. The phrase once a month, must be at the end of the sentence, okay? So we are going to say, I go to the beach once a month, okay? And this is the same when we say something like twice a week, daily, every month. So they go at the end. It's the same with some of the phrases in the second column. This ones, oops, most likely these ones always used to be at the end of the sentences, okay? Always at the end. When we are talking about the frequency adverbs, the most common, the ones that you mentioned, for example, always, never, sometimes, the position is different. And we are going to review that in a few minutes. Now, I want you to check these phrases, please, and tell me if there is a word that you don't know the meaning. Or 
is all these phrases totally understand? Yes? Is a phrase that you don't know what the meaning is? What is interpretation? Not almost always. It's ah, very good. Look at this phrase, everybody. Almost always. Almost is casi, right? So casi it, Exactly. So almost always. Imagine if I want to say casi nunca. How could I say that? Yes, I can. Almost ever. In this case, we can say almost never, right? Or hardly <laughs> ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the most common one is hardly ever, but we can also say almost never. Uh -huh. Any other phrase that you don't know the meaning, everyone? Every other day. I'm sorry, every? Every other day. Ah, that's a very good one. And this is a phrase that we use a lot in Spanish. Do you know what? Have you ever heard this phrase, everyone? No? Okay. Every other day, this is like when we say un día sí, un día no. Right? Also, these phrases can be used, like, for example, cuando decimos cada dos días. Okay? So that could be the translation. Cada dos días or un día sí. Un día no. Okay? Understood the meaning of every other day? Yes, thank you. All right. Any I other phrase? Yes. yes. Every now and then. Just Where ahora is... y luego. Or... Oh. Every now and then. So remember that sometimes we had to be careful and don't translate the phrases like exactly like we see it, uh -huh. right? So every now and then is like when we say in Spanish, de vez en cuando, okay? So imagine if I say everybody, um, how often do you visit your grandparents? Um, every now and then. So that means mm, de vez en cuando. It's not so frequent, okay? Now, any other question? Any other vocabulary that you don't know? From time to time is the tiempo en tiempos. Mm. Or the tiempo en tiempo. Okay, that won't be like exactly the translation. Actually, look at this. Every now and then, and from time to time, they are basically synonyms, okay? They are like kind of the same. From time to time is exactly like de vez en cuando, o cuando decimos a ah, cada cierto tiempo, occasionally. All right, so that is the meaning of from time to time. It's very similar to every now and then. So everybody, copy the vocabulary, please. Remember that you are not beginner one, okay? So you need to use different phrases. So imagine, instead of saying, uh, usually, you can use this one from time to time. Instead of using, uh, I, mm, I often, so instead of using that one, we can say, I almost always, okay? So try to use different phrases. Now, that is some of the vocabulary. Now, let's see how we can use the most common frequency adverbs. We know never. What is the meaning of never? Mm. 
exactly. So that means 0%. You don't do the action. Can you tell me an activity that you never do? For example, I never eat sushi. Never. I, uh -huh. I never drink coffee. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I, I read a phrase. The phrase said, no confies en alguien que no toma café. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> All right. I never jump for a plane. Okay, very good. Uh -huh, what else? Tell me an activity that you never do. Uh -huh, everybody, think. Never. I never eat soup mondongo. Oh, mondongos, you don't like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's delicious. <laughs> I love it, actually. Okay, but that's a good example. Uh huh. What else? Hmm. Okay, that is the meaning of never. So that means that you don't do the action. Then we have radically. Radically is like very weird. Another phrase for radically, what do you think? Can you tell me one of these phrases that we can use instead of radically? What is a synonym? Almost of never. Radically? Very good. Radically is the same as almost never. Very good. Or hardly okay. ever. Very good. Can you tell me an activity that you hardly ever do? It's like, ooh, very, very weird. Uh-huh. No idea? A sleep of the house. Sleep? A... Out? Fuera. Out of Out. the house. Oh, good. Mm, very good. That's a very good example. So that is an activity that mm -mm, almost never. Very good. Now we have seldom. Seldom is very similar to radically. Instead of seldom, what do you think? Which phrase can we use? Uh huh. Any idea? With which phrase can we use instead of seldom? For example, mm, but sometimes it's a little bit more frequent. More frequently, okay. Remember that seldom is very similar to radically, right? So we could use time from, from time, time to time. time. Remember is that is, is kind of weird that you do the action. Okay, look at it in the chat. It says, I never dance reggaeton. Very good. Don't dance reggaeton, everyone. That's from the evil. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then we have occasionally. Occasionally is very similar to every now and then, right? It's like, yeah, eh, not so common. Then we got sometimes. Sometimes is 50-50. Sometimes I do it, but sometimes I don't. Okay, 50-50. Can you tell me an activity that you sometimes do? Uh-huh. I'm sometimes playing basketball. Very good. What else? 
Anyone else? Sometimes read a book. Very good, very good. So you see, those are activities that you sometimes do. That means 50-50% of the time. Then often and generally, well, they are basically almost the same, right? They are kind of similar. And then we got usually. Instead of usually, can you tell me which phrase can we use instead of usually? Continuously. Continuously, yeah, sounds good. Any other idea? Constantly. What the meaning of? What is the meaning of what? Again and again. Oh, again and again, this is like when we say um, siempre. It's like a very repeated activity. For example, exactly. For example, I say, um, híjole, me levanté tarde hoy, ayer y mañana y siempre. So it's a very repetitive activity. So. Me levanto tarde una y otra y otra vez. So that it's the meaning of again and again. Okay. So in this case, if we are using usually, we can also use almost always, right? So it's an activity that you do very frequent. And then we got always. Always means all the time, every day, for example. Can you tell me an activity that you always do? I take a I always take a shower. Ah, very good, very good. Uh, hi, everyone. What about I you? I always drink coffee twice a day. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. What else? I always drink water in the morning. Very good and very healthy. So this is the way and the meaning of these most uh, common frequency adverbs. Now, remember, how can we use it? If the sentence is affirmative, pay attention in the position, okay? These frequency adverbs that are like the most common, first I need the subject, then I need the frequency adverb, and then the verb. So basically the frequency adverb goes in the middle between the subject and the verb. So if you say, for example, I go to the work, at 8 a.m. usually, and you put the frequency adverb at the end? No, that's a mistake, okay? So it has to be in the middle. If it is in negative, imagine that we have an auxiliary, so the frequency adverbs will be in the middle between the auxiliary and the verb. I don't usually go to work. You cannot say like, ah, I usually don't go to work. Mm, not really. Or I don't go usually, no. Usually goes in the middle. Look, between the auxiliary and the verb. And if you want to ask a question, basically, it's just the same between the subject and the verb. Do I usually go to work? Okay, you cannot start a question with usually, like usually do I go to work? Mm -mm. Okay, so important. If you want to use, for example, imagine that you want to use the adverb always. Okay, if you say, um, Always I drink coffee, for example. Is this sentence correct? 
Yes or no? Incorrect, because always is at the end of the sentence. Look, exactly. It's not correct. We cannot start the sentence with always. How about if I say, ah, I drink coffee always. Is that correct? No. No, because Never. it started mad outside. Exactly. So if I want to say that sentence, I have to say, I always, and then the verb, drink coffee. So we got this uh, frequency adverse between the subject and the verb. Um, imagine that you want to use never is the same example. If you say, ah, never I take a shower. No, it's not correct. Never must be in the middle. There is like one exception and is the phrase sometimes. Sometimes is like the exception to this rule. Pay attention here. Sometimes is that frequency adverb that can go at the beginning of the sentence. For example, you can say, sometimes I wake up late. Look, sometimes is at the beginning and is considered correct, okay? Also, you can say, ah, I sometimes wake up late. And it's also considered correct. But that is the exception, okay? This is when we are using sometimes. But if you are using another frequency adverbs like never, like always, like hardly ever, or like seldom, you cannot start, you cannot change the position, okay? Is it clear the position of the frequency adverb in the sentence, everybody? Only only for, for take the, the, um, the complete idea of sometimes. Sometimes it's permissive in, in, at the start of the sentence and then uh, of the, uh, of the verb to be, the two option is uh, is is okay or is okay the two option or not? Well, or actually, not. when you use sometimes, you can use both. You can okay. put it at the beginning, or you can put it in the middle. Both are correct, but only when we are talking about sometimes. Sometimes. Exactly. Only okay. sometimes or also. Usually. Actually, look, I'm going to tell you some of the frequency adverbs that can go at the beginning. For example, we can put usually, also, you can put it at the beginning of the sentence, right? Um, sometimes we can use occasionally too. So you can start the sentences with these ones. Occasionally, sometimes, and usually, but the most common is sometimes, okay? Those are like the most common, but never, 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 you cannot use always at the beginning. You can never start a sentence with often or with never, no. Those ones cannot be at the beginning of the sentence. Got it, yes? Questions, everyone? All right, so if you don't have questions, let's do a practice. I'm going to show you here some sentences. We are going to look at the adverbs that are here and you have to complete the sentences using the correct frequency adverbs. 
Okay, let me open up the exercise. Look at this. Imagine the sentence number one. It says, Elisa ta, 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 teaches her son to speak French and it says 100% of the time. So which frequency adverbs represent 100% of the time? Always. Very good. So we will say Elisa always teaches her son to speak French. How about the number two? We never listen to radio. Good job. We never listen to the radio. Number three, volunteer for reading. I occasionally eat fast food. All right. I occasionally eat fast food. Very good. Number four. Jory is frequently busy. Very good. New York is frequently busy. Very good. Next one, volunteer, please. My parents rarely. are re rarely, rarely, very at good, home. very good. So my parents are rarely at home. Very great job. Okay, number six, please. I rarely visit their grandmother. Very good. That's the one, that's the one. Number seven. Grace never uh -huh. sees her uh, ex-husband. Very good. Excellent job. How about the number eight? Volunteer for reading? Family. Usually spend Christmas together. Good job. And the last one. Mary Ann is... Always ready for class. That's the one. So pay attention in the position. If you see in these sentences, we got subject, frequency adverb, then we have the verb, and then we have the complement. That is what you have to keep in mind. Um, now, pay a lot of attention in the sentence number four. What happens in the sentence number four? Can you see a difference? Yes. Mm -hmm. The frequency is Albert after the verb. Exactly. Do so, we... very good. Pay attention here. What happens if I have the verb to be? Remember that the verb to be is like powerful. So if you have the verb to be, the frequency adverb goes after the verb to be. And this is the same in the sentence number nine. Look, I have the verb to be. So the frequency adverb goes after the verb to be, okay? Now, let's do another practice. I got here these sentences. And I want you to put the words in order. For this activity, I want to everybody complete the exercise in your notebooks. So I will give you five minutes to complete this exercise, okay? Do it in your notebooks, please. Put the words in order. Try to follow the examples, okay? Subject. Frequency adverb, complement. But if you have the verb to be, remember, subject, verb to be, and then the frequency adverb, okay? You got five minutes, complete the exercise, and then we are going to see if the answers are correct or not. Go ahead. If you have a question, just let me know.
complete the exercise. If you have a question, just let me know, please. You have three more minutes. Are you ready? Did you finish or not yet? Not yet, teacher, not yet. Okay, I will give you more time, don't worry. If you have a question, please just let me know. I want to everybody, please do the exercise in your notebooks, okay? I want to everybody try. Go ahead. Let me know when you finish. Teacher. You finish? Okay. Yes. Everybody, how about you? Are you ready or not yet? Sure. Ready? Not yet. 
Not yet? Okay, continue, please, continue. I will give you two more minutes. If you have a question, please just let me know. I want you to try, okay? Remember, subject, frequency, adverb, and then the verb. But if you have the verb to be, remember the frequency adverb goes after the verb to be. Be careful with that. I'm going to give you two more minutes. Go ahead. I finish. Okay, very good. If you have a question, just let me know, please. We are going to check the answers. So look at the number one. Sometimes travels David by bus. So what do you think? What will be the correct order in the number one? David sometimes Some, um, travels by bus. Okay, David, uh, sorry. David sometimes travels by bus. Very good. Now, here it's something that I want you to keep in mind. If you have the frequency advert, if you are talking in third person, the verb always needs the letter S, okay? That is something that is not going to change. So if you have the frequency adverbs, mm -mm, always need the letter S if you are talking in third person. Now, volunteer, what is the sentence number two? Me. Yes. The company mm -hmm. always pay the salary monthly. Okay, the salary monthly. Very good. So what is the meaning of monthly? What do you think? Mensualmente. Correct. Very good. Number three, volunteer, please. What would be the answer? Hey, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Our boss never is late for meeting. Okay, our boss never is never late, late for meeting. For a meeting. Do you agree, everybody? No. For meetings. Why not? Uh, before the never is the verb to be. Excellent. So look, that is the only detail. Remember, if you have the verb to be, the frequency adverbs goes after. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Okay, number four, volunteer. What is the answer in the number four? Okay, Tony, go ahead. Luis is often at the library. Very good, is often at the library. Very good. Okay, volunteer for the number five. I. Uh-huh. Rarely. I rarely. Sleep. Sleep. At. My girlfriend's house. Okay, at my girlfriend's house. Good job. This sentence was a little bit long, but good. Okay, number six, volunteer. Me, teacher. Yes? 
December is usually very cold. Okay, December is usually very cold. Do you agree, everybody? No, in December. Good, it's missing the preposition, right? In December, very good job, very good job. Okay, number seven. Volunteer? I never watch baseball I... on TV. Good. I never watch baseball on TV. If you see, this is the correct position of the frequency adverbs. Again, what you have to keep in mind is just be careful when you have the verb to be. Okay, if you have the verb to be, remember the frequency adverb will be after the verb to be. But if you have any other verb, remember the frequency adverb goes in the middle. Is it clear, everybody, the position of the frequency adverbs? Yes. Yes, totally clear. Do you have a question? Everything clear, clear, teacher. Everything clear. Great job. Excellent. Okay. Now, talking about the use of these frequency adverbs, let's go to the manual on page 22. Uh, remember that I sent the manual on WhatsApp's group. So if you want to get it, okay, there you can find this little box i'm going to open up the manual give me a second so this is in order to use the frequency adverbs these are like the most common ones okay so i will be asking one by one to create sentences so Hmm, let me see. I'm going to ask to Carlos Alberto. Okay, Carlos, can you give me a sentence, please? Using the frequency adverb never. But please think about the activities that you always or sometimes do, but in your workplace. Okay, so Carlos, Thinking about your workplace, tell me something that you never do. Uh huh, Carlos, can you tell me an activity that you never do at your workplace? Carlos, are you there? Okay, I think, okay. Uh, Edwin, help him. Think about your workplace. Tell me an activity that you never do. Uh, I never I arrive late. So you never arrive late? Are to, you sure? I never. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will... to, my, to my office. Okay. I have another <laughs> example. Uh huh. Tell me. I never drink Michelas at work. You never what? Michelas. Michelas <laughs> <at the work. laughs> yeah, Unreal. definitely, right? <laughs> I will ask to your supervisors to see if true. Uh -huh. He's the boss. Ah, okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Let me ask someone else. Let's see. Let me ask to Karen Rocio. Hello, Karen. Hello. Okay, Karen, think about your workplace. Tell me an activity that you always do at your workplace. I always sleep early. 
in your job? Remember, you have to think in your workplace. Tell me an activity that you always do in your workplace. So you always sleep at the office? Hmm. Oh. No, right? Can we sleep at the office? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, so imagine I always sleep at the office. Well, no problem. Really? It's true. It's really? <laughs> so very good. Very good. Let's see if you remember vocabulary. How can I say tomar una siesta? How can I say that? Take a rest. Nope. Take a nap. Take a nap. Very good. So you can say, you know what? I always take a nap at the office. <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay, let's see who else. Who else? Dun, 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 dun. Andrea Amalia. Andrea, are you there? Or are you listener? I'm not sure. Okay, I think that she's listener. Okay, Abigail Bonilla. Hello, Abigail. Hello. Okay, think about your workplace, okay? Your office. Um, tell me something that you sometimes do at the office. Mm, sometimes I... Uh-huh. Mm. Um, how do you say registrar? Register. Register. Check. Mm -hmm. Checks. Okay, okay. Look at this. On mm -hmm. the system. On the system. Okay. Sounds great. Sounds great. It's very good. Very good. Okay, I'm going to ask. Two, 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 two. Ezequiel. Hello, Ezequiel. Hello, Miss. Okay, think about your workplace. Tell me an activity that you hardly ever do. Uh, I always attend clients. Okay, hardly ever. Oh, oh hardly ever. Mm, let me see. I don't remember, teacher. Invent. Invent. For example, imagine in my work, I hardly ever eat during my English class. <laughs> <laughs> so, I will say never, but hardly ever. So how about you? What is an activity that you hardly ever do at work? Um, I don't know, teacher. Okay, one of your classmates, help him. What could be an example of this one? I hardly ever... Mm -hmm. um, Everybody, help him. What could be an activity that you hardly ever do at work? Teacher. Uh-huh. I hardly ever arrive late to my work. Very good. Arrived late. late. So look at that is a very good example. You can say I hardly ever arrive late. But remember, sometimes there is a lot of traffic. So you can arrive late. It's not so common, but hardly ever. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's see, Henry, um, tell me an activity that you radically do at the workplace. I rarely get up early on my work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get out, get out. 
oh get out <laughs> yeah okay i was thinking like he's sleeping too <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> i rather get out early sounds good example very good and the last one let me ask to it's sad but true <laughs> <laughs> very sad yeah kenya elizabeth okay kenya are you there yes teacher Okay, Kenya, tell me an activity that you seldom do at your workplace. I also don't go to the warehouses without my security equipment. All right. At the, at the what? Bodegas, warehouses. Oh, warehouse. Oops, sorry. I forgot. Can you spell it for me? I forgot the spelling of warehouse. W A R E H O U S E. Okay, like this? Yes. Thank you. So you see, very good example. Thank you. Now, everybody, that's the idea. I want you to be able to use the frequency adverbs in each circumstances. Important, you have to memorize what is the meaning of each of them, okay? Memorize them. Now, is a, there is a question about this topic, everyone, or is it totally clear? Is there a question? No. No? It's clear. Ready for an exam? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you said that you don't have questions. Okay, well, if you don't have questions, I do. I do have some questions for you, and it's time for speaking. I want to you guys ask and answer the following questions. In these questions, we have different frequency adverbs. For example, what do you usually do in your free time? I want you to do similar to uh, yesterday. I want you to think at about three sentences, okay? What do you usually do in your free time? Tell me three activities, okay? For example, ah, I usually watch TV, um, go to the cinema, and sometimes I listen to music. I don't know. So you have to tell me at least three activities. Okay. What do you always do in the afternoons? Again, please try to tell me three. So can you tell me, guys, what do you always do in the afternoons? Uh huh. Tell me three sentences. What do you do in the afternoons? I always check my email. Mm -hmm. I always take a lot of water. All right. Drink a lot of water. Uh huh. And I always drink coffee. And I always <laughs> eat I always... bread with coffee. <laughs> and I always drink coffee. Sounds good. So if you see, you said three activities and that is exactly what i want you to do so please try to give details everyone if you say only one sentence nah that's too easy okay so please try to give me more okay i have here seven questions so please practice them is there a question that you don't understand or all these questions are totally clear. Yes, clear. Okay, what is the what is the meaning of workout? Do you remember? Exercise. Good no? job. Exactly. Do exercise. So everybody, let's go to practice. In this moment, remember zero. Spanish. I don't want to listen to you talking in Spanish. And important, I don't want you to say, quiero ver, 
Veamos. Este, no. Let's try to avoid every single word in Spanish. Okay? That's the idea. Please. 16. 50 50. <laughs> 50, 50. Oh, come on. Okay. Try, everybody, please. Try to speak full, full English. If your classmate doesn't know how to say a word, you can help them. Try to help each other. Okay? Let's go to work. Hello. Hello, Marvin. Hello, Marvin. How are what you? What happened? Uh, what are you doing I, here? <laughs> I'm, I'm studying English. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question me. Okay. Uh, what do you usually do in your free time? Uh, okay. Um, Hello. Hi, teacher. I'll be alone here. Yes, no worries. I'm going to join you to someone else. Give me one second. I'm going to send someone else to this team. No worries. But um, Andrea is listener. Yes, no worries. Tony. Tony is here. <laughs> yes, Tony is here, and I'm going to see if I can send uh, Henry to. Okay? I needed water. <laughs> okay. My my two bosses is here. <laughs> Aha! Oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, you can start. Go. Okay. Hi, Tony. Hi. How are you? I'm very good, and you? And uh, yeah, I, I need the the screen. See the screen. Yes. What do you usually? Uh, what do you do? usually do in your free time? Tell I me. spend time. I spend. I always spend time with my family. Okay. I usually try to fix my car. Fix uh, your car. Yeah. Try. And you don't try. Wash yes. Your try. Car. <laughs> Rarely. Right. <laughs> uh, I don't okay. watch. Yeah. But and you? What do you do, do usually do in your free time? Um usually I take a nap. Uh usually um I go out with my dog um to um uh, short uh, trip walk. and I usually um, do, sweet, do it sweet bread. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know no no uh, in the weekends and uh, in, in my free time I, I like to do, usually I like to do uh, gardener jardineria uh, uh, gardener is right to to say to I don't know if it's correct the, the name. I like to make is is correct. I'm a gardener. Landscape. 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 My brothers say it is lands lands landscape. landscape. Make landscape. Oh, okay. Yeah. Usually. Um tell me, Harry, what do you do in your free time? What do you usually do? Uh, in my free time, I like uh, video games. Uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, seldom <laughs> usually <laughs> it's a seldom uh, video play video video games. I I usually I take a nap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. We need more energy. I see. Uh, I see. What, what do you say? Serious. Serious. Yeah. I see serious. A new serious. And 
I uh, I like Breaking Bad. I like Breaking Bad. El patrón del mal, Henry. Is... <laughs> <laughs> Often I clean I clean the house. Ah, uh, okay. Check check my list <laughs> to, to homeworks. How do you say obligado? Obligated. Obligated. Ah, okay. Um, I know who obligated to do. If, if um, he's put on the list. <laughs> I, I do. They are talking about me. <laughs> I know who is obligating to you to do this, this homework. If, if right on the list, I do it. Okay. Um, and tell me, uh, Henry, uh, what do you always do in the afternoons? Check, check the emails, check WhatsApp, email. check. Board in the afternoon. And, and I, I always take a take a break at 3 p.m. for example and let me see I I always uh, have a meeting uh, in the afternoon okay what do you always do in the afternoons mm. I always in the afternoon uh, print documents and print documents, send email and uh, cut a paper. Cut a paper? <laughs> yes. <laughs> For use the in the printer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, Next, um, what do you never do at night? What mm, I never. Uh, I never drink milk <laughs> or mm, drink milk, uh, stay out in, in the house. <laughs> uh, sleep early. <laughs> I never. Yeah. Okay. In my case, I I never drink milk too, and I never. Um, let me see. I never. I never have. Um. A big dinner, or yeah, a big dinner. I never take a big dinner. I no. I I take a, a quick dinner, and <clears throat> I never go to the bell early too. <laughs> I I. Always, <laughs> yeah. Um, where do you sometimes um, go with your sometimes, friends? I sometimes on the beach. Okay. And sometimes in um park. Um, the sometime is play the soccer. 
Okay. Atilio, be careful. Remember that if you have a different verb, you don't need the verb to be. So, uh, Atilio, I'm going to say the sentence in Spanish. You have to translate. Yo a veces juego fútbol. How can I say that? Yes. Uh -huh. Translate the sentence into English. Yo a veces juego fútbol. I, I sometimes play soccer. That's yeah. the one. Exactly. If you see, it's not necessary the bird to be. Si decimos, I sometimes is play, no. Bird to be is not necessary. Okay? Okay. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Continue, please. Yeah. Sometimes play soccer. Yes. Okay. How often do you work out? I often every day. Um, mm. Okay, I often every day. Hmm. In that case, we are combining two phrases. Estamos diciendo often y estamos diciendo every day. We have to decide. O decimos often o decimos every day. Okay? So you can say, I often work out or I work out every day. Okay. Um, okay. Very good. Um, very cool. So, Atilio, how often do you work out? How often? Where do you go? Workout is to do exercise. Wow. Do you do exercise? Every day. Every day, ok. Yeah. So, yeah. yo me ejercito o yo hago ejercicio todos los días. Traduzca yeah. la oración. I am exercise every day. I exercise every day. That's correct. Very yeah. good. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Last one. What do you I I always sleep. <laughs> A you a second. What is the question you are discussing? Number four. four. Number four. Do you yes. always go to the bed before midnight? My, my answer is uh, yes, before midnight, uh, sometime 11 o'clock. I don't understand, please repeat. The question no. says, Sorry, the question says if we go to the bed before midnight, is that to say uh, 12 o'clock at night? Okay, go to the read, bed. Read the Probably. question, read the question. Number four or number five? Number four. Do you always go to the bed before midnight? Uh -huh. What do you understand about this question? I am. I use my tea before. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Read the question. The sleep only before midnight. Remember, in the number four is a yes, no question. So, exactly. do you go to bed early? You can say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. The question says, do you always go to bed before midnight? What is the meaning of midnight? Oh. Medianoche. Exactly. So, what do you think? Do you always go to sleep before midnight? Yes, I do. Yes, right. I do. Excellent. Yes, I do. That's the one. Very good. Be careful. Identify the yes no questions and identify the questions where you can give details. All right? Continue, please. Number five, where do you sometimes go with your friends? Where do you sometimes go with your friends? Go with your friends. In mm. my days, mm -hmm. I'm sometimes drink coffee with your friends. In the coffee cup. There is the coffee. The coffee cup. I sometimes go with my friends. Mm. Go the in the beach. In the beach, three hours or two hours. Ezekiel. Yes. Mm, well, what do you sometimes go with your friends? I always have said, I don't have friends. <laughs> But this is a uh, uh, we are studying. We had to practice. So I'm gonna say um, sometimes uh, uh, will be at uh, the pool or at the beach or will be. Eat some pupusas. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really not. Yes, but in this year I don't going to I I not going to paint again. <laughs> okay. Okay. But and you can do it. <laughs> and the last question is what do you always do on weekends on weekends I do laundry and I spend time with my family and I sometimes go to the movie with my brother and my sisters. Okay. How about you, Marvin? Do you listen to me? Yes. Yes. Ah. Okay. Uh, the weekend, I always... Um, I always uh, I always meet with my friends uh, because uh, 
is the rule, the rule is the, the regla, is the rule um, uh, meet to the Sunday, Sunday. What do you say, Domingo, Sunday? Oh. Yes. It's Sunday. Yes. Okay. Um, um, what else? Ah. Uh, oh. What else? Ah, uh, I sometimes eat to pupusa. Ah, yes, yeah. I make a landscape in I, my garden. I, yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It's it's, it's a, a a very good exercise for me because it's the only uh, the only time that I have uh time for my house for um um especially to 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 help uh, my wife to to look very good and very well uh, our garden or our houses. It's a, a really a time to 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 share with my family and and if it's possible, usually my son helped me um, in the in the garden tasks tasks. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> um, I think that no, I think that 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 uh, he enjoyed spend time with me. Uh, Sometimes when I don't be angry or 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 bad, bad humor, but uh, usually the the um, the garden session is for me a relaxed time. It's a nice garden. <laughs> As well, but... you have you have kuma. <laughs> Good man, no kuma man. <laughs> Macheri. Okay. All right, aha, uh -huh. grand chambration that you have here, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so did you finish all the questions, right? Yes. Right. Easy or difficult? Uh, or difficult? Um, this is a. Uh, uh, I think this is entret entertaining. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, it's funny for us, but because we discover we don't have life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's sad that's, for us, but that, that's uh, pretty when, sad. When, yeah. we, for we one question, especially, <laughs> where do you do something with your friends? And we say, uh, work. I don't have friends. <laughs> And, and you know what? Actually, that is a very common answer. I have been listening uh, in different groups. It's like, which friends? I don't have free time. <laughs> so it's like, you, come on. You, you see your friends? Yes, I see my friend in the office. <laughs> well, no, okay. are you, are you, are you have free time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what some people say. It's like, what is free time? <laughs> yeah, it's free time, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I think that the the the, um, the people who um, live with us in the work um, will be a, a friends, will be a family, and could be a, a, a the only person that understand what <laughs> we do, what yeah, uh, that's uh, the, expe the expectations, and and we share so much time with these people, and it's important for us that. Uh, Create a, a lasso, create a, a link to, mm -hmm. to engage emotional yeah. link with, with, with the people engage. with the world. Engagement. Exactly. Okay. My, my, my brother here with, with me, and he say we do very good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We very good job is try to speak in English. Excellent, that's the idea. <laughs> nice job. Okay, because of the time, we need to go back to the main room, but I'm glad you were talking a lot. That's the idea, okay? Chambering English? <laughs> gossips. <laughs> a lot of gossips in this group. Uh -huh. G gossip. Gossips. Gossips, ah, yes. Go gossip. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's go gossip. to the main room, okay? Okay. Thank you. Very good. Thank you.
Okay, time's up. Okay, I'm going to wait for everybody. Time's up, time's up. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh, everybody. How did you feel the speaking practice? Was it easy or difficult or 50-50? What do you think? It's easy because it's funny. <laughs> ah, okay. You, you receive a lot of information from your classmates. I, I could see different teams. They were laughing. They were discovering interesting answers. Nice. And the rest of you, everybody, how did you feel the questions? Easy or difficult? Uh-huh. Or 50-50? Easy, teacher. Excellent. Very good. So you see, you are improving, everyone. Something that I really liked is that I didn't listen to Spanish. I know that you are trying. Sometimes I heard like little phrases, but full, uh, I mean, most of the conversations were full in English. So that's great. Excellent job. Something really good too, is that you are giving details. I was listening to some of you giving a lot of sentences. That's pretty good too. Now, important. If you don't understand the question, don't answer. Okay, if you don't understand the question, tell your classmates, I don't understand the questions. What do you mean? Because sometimes imagine, and, and this is something that happened to one of my students. The question said, how often do you take a shower? And the person didn't understand the question and they say, never, never, hardly ever. So it was like, are you sure? So they didn't understand. So don't answer a question if you don't understand, okay? Now, little details that I want you to consider. I was listening to different groups and I could identify these details. For example, in the weekends, is this correct? Yes or no? No. What is the correct one? on the weekend be careful with the prepositions it's not in we had to say on a sleep is that correct sleep ah so remember the letter e doesn't exist so we hit we need to say sleep sleep don't say a sleep sleep is the same here where is the pronunciation can I say study? Study. Uh -huh, study. That's yeah. correct. Study. Study. Now, imagine if my class my classmate says, I drink coffee. So you can say, ah, uh, I drink coffee too. But what happens if my classmate says, I don't drink coffee? Can I say, ah, uh, I don't drink coffee too? Is no. that correct? What is the correct one? I don't drink coffee. Uh huh. But can I add two at the end? No. Instead of two, what can I say? Remember, I'm when we to... say when we say two is for affirmative sentences. That means, yo tomo café. Ay, yo también tomo café. But imagine if your classmate say, ay, yo no tomo café. So you say, ay, yo tampoco. Yo tampoco tomo ay, café. In this case, we cannot use to because it's not affirmative. So I have negative sentence here. So instead of to, I will say either. Okay, I don't drink coffee either. Okay, or como decir, tampoco, ex Yo tam exactly. Or simplemente we can say me neither. 
Me neither is yo tampoco. So you got those options. You can say, I don't drink coffee either, or mm, me neither. Yo tampoco. Okay? But if Teacher, the sentence but is I negative, can say, I can say me too. Only that. Me too, yes, when it's affirmative. Si es affirmative y queremos decir yo también, entonces decimos me too. Si es negative, entonces tenemos que decir me neither. Okay? So, for example, imagine I don't like eh, mondongo soup. Y a ustedes tampoco les gusta. ¿Qué me van a decir? Me too o me neither? Me neither. Exactly. Me neither. Me neither. But imagine I say, I love pizza. Me too. Me too. Ah, all right. So if the sentence is affirmative, we say me too. If it is in negative, me neither. neither. Okay? Delicious. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. Okay, pronunciation of this word. Pronunciation. Ah. Sometimes. Pay attention here. We have the letter M. So please pronounce the letter M. Because I, I could listen some time. Ah, yes. I some time. No. Sometimes. So be careful with the pronunciation. We usually go in the beach. Is that correct? To the beach. Oh, teacher. Ah, what is the correct one? Go to the beach. So? We usually go to the beach. We usually go to the beach. My son helped me. Helps. Aha, uh -huh. letter S. Don't forget, third person. Now, be careful with these phrases. Sometimes we want to say, mm, yo creo que sí. Or sometimes we say, yo creo que no. So how can I say this? I think yes. Mm -mm. We will say, I, I think. You can say like this. I think so. Oh. If you say, I think so, it's like, mm, yo creo que sí. Okay. If you want to say, yo creo que no, just say the sentence in negative. I don't, I don't think so. Exactly. ¿Creen que llueva mañana? I Is don't it? think so. Very good. I don't think so. Okay. ¿Creen que haga calor ahora? Always. <laughs> so you can say, I, I think, think so. so. <laughs> exactly. So, Let's stop saying, I think yes, no, I think no, mm -mm. I think so, or I don't think so. Understood, everyone? Yes, if I say I think yes, teacher, yes. Well, I'm sorry? If I say I think that yes. What happens if you say that phrase sounds like very translated phrase? Es como lo traducimos bien literal from Spanish. And in English, they don't talk like that. They don't say, I think that yes. Mm -mm. Como I think so. uh -huh. Exactly. It doesn't sound naturally. If you want to sound more natural, you can use these ones. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we don't have more time, everyone. So, as always, one of you is going to stay. And the winner for today is Jose Ezequiel. <laughs> so, Ezequiel, you stay, <laughs> all right? And the rest of you, everybody, you can go and have a very good night. Don't forget to work on the platform, please. It's an obligation. Yes? Okay. I think. And the, thing, and the second tenant? Ah, yes. yeah. Oh, no worries that when you were in the groups, I check attendance the second time. No worries. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. So, everybody, good night. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you Only tomorrow. Ezequiel See stays. You. Goodbye. See you. Goodbye. See you. Good night.
Good night, good night. Take care. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Hello, Ezekiel. How are you? Uh, I don't feel very well, but... Really? Are you sick? Even so... No, I don't feel... I got a headache. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Okay. But even so, I've been here. Thank you. Thanks for the effort. Okay, I'm not going to take so long. This meeting is just to clarify some doubts that you may have, not only about the class, but also could be about the program or about the platform, or if you have any comments or any extra help that you may need. So do you have a question about it? Um... I think so. Uh, in the uh, when we use the ad adverse of frequency, mm -hmm. always in the. Uh, is there another? Uh, no, como haría? See, is there another another way to write those those uh, adverse? Uh, that to say is if we write if we write a a sentence. Uh, do you mean the position? That's the position, what yes, yes. Well, it depends of the frequency advert that you are using. For example, in the case of always, never, often, <coughs> rarely, they don't change the position. They normally go between the subject and the verb. What you have to consider is if you have the verb to be. Because if you have the verb to be, so then the frequency adverb goes after the um, verb to be. That is like the basic rule. And depending on the frequency adverb, so for example, if you have some times, um, or if you have occasionally, or usually. So this kind of frequency adverbs, they can go at the beginning of the sentence. A diferencia de always and never and seldom, ellos no pueden ir at the beginning. In this case, these ones, they can. So you can say, ah, occasionally I go to the party. So you, we are starting the sentence. So this one is correct. Or you can put this one in the middle. I occasionally go to the party. So here is depends on the type of frequency that you are using. But if you feel that it's, it could be a little bit confusing, just keep this one, okay? So okay. frequency is in the middle between the subject and the verb, except if you have the verb to be. So you can say, I am occasionally, angry for example okay <laughs> so if you have the verb to be the frequency goes after the verb to be okay yeah so it depends of the frequency advert that you are using and also remember the phrases that i mentioned this type of phrases for example these ones most of the time they go at the end of the sentence i go to the beach once a week. I take a shower three times a day. So we cannot put this one at the beginning. No podemos decir, ah, three times a day, I take a shower. <laughs> yeah, we cannot. Okay. Okay, teacher. So that, another question? No, teacher, that, that was the only doubt I, I had. I had it. Okay. So according to the platform, uh, let's see, Ezekiel, I can see that you finished 100% the week number one, so excellent job. Espero que así se mantengan el resto de las weeks, because that was perfect. Okay, okay, teacher, thank you. Excellent. I'm glad also that you are participating a lot in the class. What did you feel like that is the most difficult? Speaking, listening, grammar, reading, or which one do you feel that is the most difficult? Mm, I, I sometimes <laughs> sometimes at listening sometimes speaking <laughs> because sometimes I can I can understand when someone is is talking 
-hmm. but sometimes it is difficult to me to express uh, what I want to say. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you are doing a very, very good job, honestly. So I want you to keep like that. Keep going, keep working on the platform, keep participating in the class because okay. every time when I ask you a question, you answer correctly. So very, very good job. Keep Thank going. You, Thank okay, you. any comment that you may have or any other question? No, teacher, no question, no more Ex question. Okay, very good. So Ezekiel, it was a pleasure to talk to you. I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher, good night. Good night.